I kind of look at it as a, a magic show. You know, on the one hand, you know, you've got the big names like Amazon and uh, Google and so forth, which have been doing so great. But there's something hidden behind the other hand that's a surprise coming out. These would be smaller names, more value oriented. Uh, as we look at Micron uh, technology, would be one of those trading with about a six times earnings. I mean, that's just crazy with really, really great earnings. Uh, you've got Western Digital uh, again in that uh, you know that storage space area and then Kulik and Sofa which makes the equipment which makes the semiconductors so there's lots of room in there in the smaller size and we think that's the next wave that will be coming into the market are smaller and more value oriented so value stocks. oriented tech place Chad where are you on the question of whether tech has gotten ahead of itself broadly well some of the tech names have gotten ahead but keep in mind that you've had extreme revenue growth as well as earnings growth within the tech sector hence the reason why it's 26 percent of the S&P 500 with that said, we do like several names. We like Accenture as one, Oracle and Cisco. Those have not had as great of runs as the others, and we believe that the economic backdrop would actually bode well for their revenue and earnings growth. Is the, is the idea, Chad, and then I'll ask Barry the same question, that, that companies have been encouraged to get away from giving quarterly guidance, as we reported yesterday, uh, 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 Mr. Buffett and uh, Jamie Dimon urging companies to do this, only one out of five do it anyway. Is that going to make your job a lot harder? No, it's going to make it a lot easier uh, as a portfolio manager. We're long-term investors. We do follow the trend of of not only earnings growth but cash flow growth but to get to get ultra myopic about a quarter by quarter number for me i think is just absolutely insane uh, and it's the numbers that count not the estimates it's, right? it's the numbers that count over a longer period of time and what we're looking for are companies that actually are going to invest in their business and get a high return on that investment and actually create intrinsic value what happens today is that companies get penalized for actually investing in productive projects that perhaps will take three to four years to pay off. And yeah. that's hence the reason why you're seeing this outcry. Let me get a quick thought from Barry on that same subject. Is this gonna make your job easier or harder or no different? Uh, it makes it easier in a lot of ways. We don't use those projections. We haven't found them to be very good in terms of projecting prices uh, like the other gentleman was talking about. We look at historical, maybe one year to one year comparisons. We think that that washes out a lot of the, mm -hmm. uh, a lot of those things like that. So we like it and uh, right. it, it wouldn't make any difference to us. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.